Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com and today we're going to continue our series of uh, taking common command line tools that you might use and showing the PowerShell equivalent. Uh, we know command prompt is still used in a lot of places for a lot of reasons, things like you know IP config and it's just where people just default there because it's been that way for so long. Uh, but the simple fact is command prompt is depreciate, is not as important and PowerShell is the way of the future. So we always like to take a look at both sides and show how you can do the same thing in PowerShell, try to make that more of your default in, in all scenarios. In this case, we're gonna go over using check disk, as you can see from the blog behind me. <clears throat> Don't know if I pointed to that with my hand wave, but here we are. All right, a uh, nice thing about check disk, this is, as everyone knows, a way to look for uh, bad sectors in advice or look for any sort of things that might be issues within the hardware itself. Uh, if we come up to VS Code, we can actually run that right here. In PowerShell, no problem. It's going to run it just fine. It's going to do the exact same thing. It's basically going to scan for bad sectors. That's great. This information here, it is going to put the information back to you as a string instead of an object. So it's hard to interact with. If you wanted something specific in there, you'd have to do regex or dive in there, uh, where instead you can come in and you could run this as PowerShell, which is uh, repair-volume. I'm going to specify the drive letter. Here we go, drive letter is, we'll do the C drive and uh, specify scan. So we're not looking to fix anything, we're just scanning. Run that one. And you're actually gonna get a little bit less information back when it's just basically gonna say, yeah, it all checks out. Or if something doesn't check out, I'll say, hey, here's what's broken. Just let that finish running real quick. Uh, the nice thing about this is it doesn't have the wall of text, but everything it does return to you, in this case, nothing, everything's fine. Everything is in an object. If you want to see actually what it is doing, you can do dash verbose and run that one and see a lot of same thing here with lows, but it'll actually give you information as it's running. I'll tell you what it's checking, see if it's finding issues. You can see it pops down in, in yellow right there. So it's doing the same thing as check disk, just running from PowerShell, which means you could probably do a little bit more with it. And the information you get back is going to return in an object. And one other uh, big value from this is you could run this. You could come in and do like sim instance. Yeah. Apparently it's not gonna finish for me. Let's do control space. Sim session, I'm sorry. Sim session, you can specify a machine that you had in there and it's gonna be able to run this against a remote machine and pull the data to you. Um, I'm not on the VPN, so I can't showcase this live, but if you have Thor, and it, you basically have to be able to enable win remoting on that one. You could run that and it's gonna run the same thing only on a remote machine, so you don't have to worry so much about going to that machine. It's gonna save you a lot of walk time. That's just another thing, as you can see, same results of check disk. The command's a little bit different, but it's more adaptable. The results are more usable, and it's going to be more prevalent going forward over a command line. Uh, for BDQ.com, I'm Jordan.